Now, I don't know whether this is great coaching. As you can see, Eddie Betts here, just working his way off the field, just going to the bench, and Jeff Garlett comes on. Now, I'm hoping this is the case. I, I think Ken Hinckley said, well, we, let's not go man on man the back line. Let's see if we can get an extra player upfield. We need to score. We need a goal. Garlett comes on the ground. You can see the ball gets kicked forward. Intercept mark at the halfback flank there. Now, we just allow this to roll on a little bit. You can just see Garlett here. If we just pause that there, you can see Garlett here. He's all alone by himself, and we've got one-on-one -on -one there, which will he will try and cover both players in a moment if we allow it to go. You can see Garlett forward. They need to kill the clock. They actually need to defend. Their finals campaign is on the line here. They don't need another goal. You've got the 2v1 here. You can see there's, there's Jeff way out wide. There's the other Carlton player there, which I think is weight at that stage. And there's the defender in the middle trying to cover both off. Now, the extra player is at the stoppage. Ball goes up the wing and then a stoppage eventuates. Now, they get a chance to organise again, Port Adelaide. And, Scotty, they keep their spare player at the stoppage or just off. And it becomes a very aggressive move to try and steal the game or win the game back, which they had firmly in their control. You can just see here as, a, as he pulls back from that stoppage there, Broadbent charges forward, takes a spare with him. There's the spare now, just dropping out the back of that stoppage, and they are away. They are gone. This is exactly what they are looking for, and they get that ball to go forward, Lynchy. If we just allow that to go, you can just see top of the screen here on the right. Keep your eye on that player there as he tracks through here towards the goals. Now, I think that's Monfries. If we allow that vision to roll on, you can just see him break inside 50 all alone. Uh, Broadbent gets this ball. Good handball there, good creative handball, and there he is. If he can just open his vision and drop that one into there, he is all alone. So Brad to... shouldn't watch this part. No, he shouldn't watch no. this part. If you're a kangaroo <laughs> supporter, well, look if he, away. If he hits that target, North are playing on the weekend. Well, you'd think so. It was a, look, he hit the post in the end, so it's a small margin, but we're talking about two sides of the coin here. You're talking about Carlton trying to win a game to get into a finals campaign and still attacking when they're two points in front with a minute to go, rather than defending and trying to hang on to that, uh, that four points. It's just, it's just a strange tale. It, it is. I mean, that's extraordinary vision. I, I think it's, it's yeah. fantastic vision for all the viewers at home to, to get an insight because I was watching the broadcast vision and I couldn't tell any of that. You know, just watching at home, and I thought Broadbent made a great decision, just hit the post. But and Monfries is obviously on there. But I, I think on the, on the initially, I think it's fantastic coaching from Ken Hinckley. And yeah. look, it's something taken from other sports. When you in ice hockey, if you're down and you're, you're trying to win the game late in the game, you don't need a goalkeeper. Doesn't yeah. matter whether you lose by two goals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like push him up into play and try and get the extra around the ball and generate a scoring you think opportunity. You think there was a decision to? Look, I think it's it's impossible to know. Only Ken can tell us. But if that is the case, it's great coaching, and and it certainly worked for Port. They generated the shot, and and Carlton didn't respond.